2009. 2009. Time flies. So it, it does. In one sense, it feels like yesterday, and in one sense, it feels like a really long time ago. So, but it's really nice to have you visiting us. And for those of you who have put some attention to the title of this talk in the email that I sent, might recognize a phrase that is also on a painting, not very far from here, in the kitchen. So where do I go from here, was the sort of subtitle. Really nice to have you here, Nikolai, and most welcome, and I'll let you introduce yourself. So. Great. Thank you very much. Uh, I actually wanted to. Whoops. Okay. On the, on the demonstration start. I really, really wanted to come here before as well, but well, never had the chance as it often happens, or the time. And I'm really, really glad to be here. And uh, well, well, you saw it was better before. Huh? Uh, yeah, maybe this. And. Uh, <laughs> Oh, okay, we'll just continue in a second. <laughs> and uh, well, it's it's not on the presentation, the first slide now, but I, uh, I sent when I sent the email to Helena, I entitled it like, "Where do I go from here?" Because I was always wondering, what what does that picture mean? And uh, well, <laughs> and two years uh, from uh, well, from graduating, I actually realized what it means. It's like it, it's supposed to make you think. What do you do afterwards? What do you do with your life? Kind of? Uh, just <laughs> amazing, like how can things go wrong when you have to actually start presenting. Okay, right. So, um, first thing, who am I? Um, my name is Nikolai, I come from a place called Moldova, uh, it's in Eastern Europe, uh, born in 1986. What do you mean by? Uh, I studied, first I studied uh, international economic relations. I thought like, well, it's cool, it's international, I'll visit a lot of countries, I'll, I'll, I'll work in an embassy and so on. But that will turn out to be deadly boring, like you can't imagine. Uh, then, well, I decided I actually have to go abroad myself, not wait until I become an ambassador or something. <laughs> so, um, I was aiming for Germany, Somehow, I don't know what went wrong, maybe the wrong plane ticket or something. I ended up in Gothenburg. And uh, I ended up uh, on this program. That was, this was a radical change. This is, uh, like, I, I also study now a business program from Nudo, and I can say that this is the most unorthodox, like the most untraditional program that I've seen. It's, it's so different. Even now when I, when I come here and see uh, students in their rooms. It's so different, really. Like it's not a classroom feeling. Um, all right. So, what's next? In summer 2007, after my uh, first year, I was still confused. <laughs> well, because uh, like software engineering was totally new for me. Uh, yeah, I had an internship uh, at a bank back home, uh, and then second year, uh, the SEM program Erlang. Was here like we, we had a subject in Erlang. I've of course never heard of Erlang. What's that? Like weird names like spawn, kill, child, kill, pimp. What the hell? Um, right. And well, in um, in summer 2008, like well, we had the Erlang course with Francesco. As well, uh, if you're in the second year, you know him. And uh, I actually wanted to go to London, but that didn't work out. So. Um, just recommended me to some guys uh, in Stockholm and uh, to a company called Creditor. Well, I didn't know what's that, but I took a chance and I went there. It was a good internship. I came back full of ideas, back home, uh, back, back to the uh, third year. And uh, well, the third year was, was a blast. It was really cool. And in the same time, it was not so cool because uh, that was 2008, 2009 the financial crisis, all that, it was really hard to find a company to write your thesis with. <laughs> like, uh, the job prospects were really bad. It felt like, shit, this is not the right time to graduate. But, well, it turned out better than it seemed. Uh, all right. So, there we go. Yeah. So, from this point, my presentation will uh, 
the will contain two parts. First part is looking back at my education, what I learned, and what would be, I don't know, my feedback or yeah, something that I would like to give to return to to, to the students that study here now. And um, the second part is how do we work in the industry in the real world? Like, what are the differences, similarities, and so on? So, well, let's start with the first part. Looking back at my education, I would say that the most important tip that I would give you is getting out of your comfort zone, doing stuff that you have never done before. And, well, they should be fun, they should be challenging. I think that's important, they should be challenging. And you should like them. I, I bet there's a lot of things that you like, that you would like to do, but maybe you're afraid or unsure if you'll succeed. So you, yeah, you're not really sure if you want to do that. But my recommendation is that do that. You will not regret, most probably, unless it goes really bad. But usually it doesn't. So yeah, I can say that, well, for me, software engineering was a challenge. I thought, uh, I thought it was hard. I, I didn't know how it works. I had, I had no idea. Uh, I always liked like uh, math and stuff, but uh, well, I didn't know what IT is. Let, let's take it as broad as possible. IT, what is that? How does it work? Uh, well, for me, that was getting out of my comfort zone and challenging myself and and making me feel like okay, this either either I do it or I'm screwed. So I had to take it. Um, yeah. Second, yeah, this is like your favorite operating system. This is really uh, uh, connected with the first one. It's the need for change. Because uh, imagine a world where there's only Microsoft Windows, right? Mm -hmm. how, ma how many of you use Microsoft Windows here? Whoops. <laughs> All right. I'm not going to continue. <laughs> That's really scary, actually. Uh, Okay, so imagine the world where there's only Microsoft Windows, then there wouldn't really be a concept of, a, of an operating system, because it's all the same, just one. And the point in this is change. Try, try new stuff. Try something that you have no idea about. Try and see how it's different, how, see how it's better or worse. Because, well, all right, I see many of you like one particular operating system, but don't stop there. My, my point here is that try new stuff. Don't think that you waste your time or your effort. Uh, as, as precious as your time might be, well, you'll gain much more if you try out new stuff. New operating systems, new way of doing stuff. All that has to be challenged all the time. Always challenge your assumptions. Because if you think that this is the way to work, well, think again. Most probably not. I don't, I don't think there's a, a definite answer like this is the ultimate tool or the ultimate operating system or the ultimate process. I don't think so. I don't think there's one answer, but always challenge your assumptions, what you think is best. Uh, right, the next one. Yeah, namely that. I, I uh, like, uh, sometimes I'm really impatient with people. As, especially when I was, when I just came here, I was much younger and much, much less experienced. So I was really impatient with people. Uh, we had to work in groups, groups of six students. I guess you still do, right? Yeah. Cool. And uh, well, that that was difficult. That was it was 